All right, in this video I want to talk about the Galileo thermometer, sometimes called the slow thermometer. You may have seen these around in like museum gift shops. It just has a bunch of little glass colorful things with little numbers on them. So that's 88 degrees for Fahrenheit. They have Celsius on the other side, so that's the Celsius side, 24 degrees. And when one of the floats drops, the last one to drop is the, is the current temperature. So this is sort of in a strange state because it's just cooling down right now. But um, I kind of, I would just want to talk about how this works. Note this clear fluid in here is really the key. And that's what I'm going to try to show in this video. Just, I'm going to try to speed up the cooling down of it just by running water over it. Actually, I actually have no idea if this will work. No, I definitely don't want to tip it over. Um, as I said, it's called a slow thermometer, so it takes a long time. Uh, but when I cool it down, all the floats should go down to the bottom. No, sorry, to the top. All the floats will rise back up, and then we'll start the sequence from there. Alright, that should do it. It's a good starting point. Okay, so Galileo didn't actually invent this thermometer. It was made by this group of academics and this, you know, after him. But he did discover that density decreases when temperature of the fluid rises. So that the fluid will expand as it gets hotter. Uh, and that, so the density of this clear fluid is gonna go down. So to show that, if you just, this is in the cold state. So I'm just gonna try to put this piece of tape right about where the top of this menis meniscus is in the cold state. And so this is true. When we heat this whole thing up, the clear fluid on the inside, which is ethyl alcohol, because it expands more rapidly than, than water, uh, th it's gonna expand and the density is gonna go down. So we should see this level rise so there's a force balance on every one of these floats. There's a force down from gravity, and it's just equal to the weight, the mass of this thing, of each individual float. And then there's a force up, which is from buoyancy. And we know that buoyancy, the buoyant force upward, is equal to the weight of the fluid that you displace, right? So um, when one of these is just suspended, that means that its, its gravitational weight is equal to the weight of the fluid that it displaces. But when the whole fluid on the outside is decreasing in density and getting bigger because the temperature is changing, then the weight displaced by each one of these things is actually going to go down. And so now the upward force is going to be less than the gravitational force down and the ball will drop. And that's what we're going to see if we can actually show that this clear fluid, the ethyl alcohol, is going to expand and have its density decrease. Now to try to get it to be a little bit faster than normal, I'm going to put it in a relatively warm area. By this fire, I'll try to heat it uniformly or else it'll set up gradients. So, let's see. Let's zoom in on that meniscus. Let's see if we can see a change. I think that should show up. So I'll just let it sit for a minute. Yeah, so when this sits in the sun, they really go all the way down one at a time. But since we're getting some uneven heating from the fire, it's hotter at the top. Um, and so they're kind of stagnating on their way down. But as the fluid sort of circulates and evens out its temperature, they should all end up at the bottom. You can kind of see that the fluid is coming up above the tape at this point, which is pretty exciting. Doesn't take much. just stratify different temperatures at different levels. Yeah, and 
the fluid level is clearly above the tape now, so you can see that it is indeed thermally expanding. Density has gone down, and so the upward force on each of the individual floats has become less than the downward force coming from gravity. Awesome. And again, I want to point out that the even though the, the fluid inside each individual float is also expanding, it doesn't actually matter because it's not changing the mass or the volume uh, of fluid that's displaced by the shape. So it's kind of changing inside an envelope that just is, it could, you might have, it's just a black box. And they put colorful fluids in just to look nice. It's purely aesthetic. Um, they could all be the same color or whatever, obviously. A lot of people kind of have that mixed up. All right, well, there you go. I think you can really see that the fluid rose and the bulbs dropped. So at this point, you should believe me. Cool. All right, well, that's, uh, that's the story. Thanks, everyone.